joining me today. Wow, what have we got here? Just a quick look at this little mini shark hoover. Wanted something small, nimble, just for doing a little cleaning around the edges, snooker table, the car, maybe. But I don't know. I'm a little bit sceptical because it's small. Is it going to be any good? Let's have a look. Let's get the box open and uh, see what we get in here. This is the shark cordless um it's got twin batteries it's a twin because there is a view reviews saying that the batteries don't last very long at all but we'll still have a look at that and see um it's got a little stand with it by all accounts let's get the box open we're not going to mess about too much with this we want to get it get it open have a look see what we get it is 130 quid i'll put a link in the description this is what we get this little thing here oh okay hmm it is quite light but look how small it is. It's tiny, isn't it? You know, it's really, really small. Has it got any gum for it? Oh, it's got enough gold itself, up. Oh, that cut out. <laughs> oh, it's gone dead already. <laughs> straight out the back. I haven't charged it though, to be fair. <laughs> so that's straight out of the box and it's flat. <laughs> Good start. Let's have a look. So we've got that there. We get some instructions with it. <laughs> we've got, um, yeah, you know, the usual suspects. A few little attachments and things. They've got a, a flat one there. That might be nice for doing around the edge of the table and that. We've got, uh, that's the, the stand thing there. That's it, that's everything out of the box. Got some destructions. What is this then? And how do we charge it and get the thing working? Uh, where's the spare battery? Is that gonna be fully charged? All right, so we've got three pin UK plug, which is nice. Uh, I presume that these attachments sit in, in there. So, fly, get off me fly. Um, right, how do we get the battery out of this thing? Push the bottom. Ah, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Okay, so that's that's that one. So I presume then that this is the other one. Is it going to be flat or is this going to be charged? Oh, okay, there we go again. So, yeah. There you are. So that's got some... That's got a bit of power. It's not too bad. It feels quite... quite I was expecting it to be, I used to have an old Black & Decker one that was blooming rubbish. You couldn't do anything with it. And because of the size of this, I was thinking, maybe, is it going to be something like that that is just a small gimmick? Hmm, don't know. Anyway, what have we got as far as the tank goes for, um, you know, your dust? It is really small. I mean, it is really small. This is, by all means, you ain't going to be hoovering your house with it. It's not that kind of hoover. Because if you pop this somehow, as it say, slide to access filter. <laughs> uh, uh, slide what? Slide to access filter. Am I being stupid? Probably. Oh. There's a button on the back with a big blue stick on it saying press that. So we, we slide that up. And then slide to access filter so now that's up i could put push that and out it comes i should have looked at this before i videoed it shouldn't i <laughs> but this is what it's all about isn't it i love it right so yeah we've got this little filter looking thing here so the dirt is going to go into this little receptacle there which is pretty small to to be fair it's tiny then you've got like this mesh um filter housing here which the holes in it are pretty, pretty, well, I say that, well, they're not that small. So you're going to get a lot of fine dust debris going through this. And in the back there, there's a tiny little filter thing with a little hook on it. And you pull it out and it goes in. That's going to pick up all the fine dust. And look how small that is. Is this washable or is it throw away? Because if it's throw away, then we're going to be going through billions of them. And it's going to be a complete waste of time. I shall check if that's washable or not. We shall see. So let's put it all back together again and uh, let's suck some stuff up and see how we get on with it. So that's pretty straightforward. 
that's pretty good. If I put this noggin on the end of here, somehow like that. Ooh. Well, I'm, if nothing else, it's a great fan. It's probably got a lot of gust coming out of there. <laughs> Yeah. let's get it plugged in we'll get this charged up because i don't know how much power's in these batteries so let's get them fully charged and then we can have a bash and uh compare it to something else so that we have and the only thing i've got to compare it to is my faithful dyson v10 you know the beast of it it's just that's on maximum is you know, it's got some power in it, this has, I mean, sort of compare the two. Yeah. Different gravy though, isn't it? You know, look at the size of the bucket on that to this. But it, 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 we've got to have something to compare it to. So we'll go with this on, on a low setting and we'll just do a little bit of comparison with sucking stuff up and see how it, how it competes. I'm pretty impressed with how that feels though. It's really light, it's nimble, and it's got a bit of poke to it. It's definitely far better than my old Black & Decker handheld thing that he used to have. So um, let's get it fully charged, like I say. We'll try the dock out and see how we get on with that. Okay, plug's on. That's switched on on the wall. Then this little fella's got two little taps on it there, so you can just literally drop. <laughs> Do you? Well, does it go in that way around? You have to take the you have to take the end off it. Does that just pull off? Or does it go, yeah, so that pull, does it go in that way then, does it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you drop it in like that, and that's just is that it? Is it not like locate? It doesn't feel like there's anything to He's literally just touching. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I'm feeling that that's gonna. Is that it? The lights on. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. So you just feel a bit loosey goosey on that. It's not. I would want it to. I wanted it. You know. So it's like locked in, but it's just relying on the the weight of the hoover to push it against the uh, contact. And obviously then we've got the second port there for the other battery, which that's, I mean, that's a nice clunky click kind of feeling. But then you do just come straight up and grab that off there. It feels like you're like putting a phone down in a phone, you know, one of the old uh, handheld phones. It's a bit like locating one of those. Um, and then we've got these two... We've got the two ends and we've only got one space on the base to put one in. So which one of these are we going to be putting in the base, do we say? I'm going to go with that one, I think. Let's pop that in there, like that. And then this one. There. We've got a nice little blue light coming on the side here. Let's let that charge up and uh, I'll come back in a minute. Right, let's give this table a clean down with this nice shark hoover thing here let's see how powerful it is see if we can do the complete table i don't know how long the battery's going to last um i don't know what suction it's going to have so let's give it a go we've got loads of bits of dirt and debris on here it's looking a bit tatty so uh let's see how we get on with it i'm going to go with this nice end here which is uh just gives us a bit more of a even space to go at it let's try it see what happens so test it once and on it comes um it's getting it yeah i mean it's getting it off but it's taking a lot of a lot of brushing um 
If I just show you with the Dyson, I've got this last quarter to do here, how quick and easy it is with the with the Dyson Uber. It'll give you an idea as to the, the amount of effort we've just put in with you know, just doing it with this one. Get yes. everything else. So whether this bigger end here is losing a little bit of effect. Let's go one step further. Let's get the... Uh, Let's get a rug on here and we'll attempt to do some testing, some cleaning with this. Let's have a look in this uh, little basket here as well. So if we press that there, it releases it. I don't want to get too much muck out yet, but you can see what we've collected off the table. And it seems to be gathering around this vent. It seems to be gathering around this vent here quite a lot. And around this end here, there's not a lot in the actual receptacle there it's all around this um like this fin bit here uh, so no, it's picked up it's picked up some there let's have a look at the filter as well and just see what the filter looks like is this going to be all green drain i don't know let's have a look Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of green in there. I mean, already. Yeah, there's loads in there, look. Look at all the green in there. It's caught no end in the filter. And that is literally from just doing that table. Mm. got in this is the rug from the door <laughs> and you can see it's got loads of crap on it so let's go with this again we'll try half of it see how we go let's try it without the just with its bare nozzle so that absolutely fits that and do that right Thing that way, so if we put that, put that end on again, yeah, it's definitely easy to push that way with that on. There's a bit of glass there, look. I can't think to get it up with that. A little bit, oh, I don't like that at Let's have a look in here again, see what we get in if I just flip that up. Oh, glass just all sticks to this. Sticks to this bit round here. It loves sucking it into this bit of shape there and all around the top. It doesn't seem to get down the bottom of the of the basket very well. It's a little one way flat there. Push to remove. Oh, you can actually take that away. Right, take that out. And clean it if you want to clean it out. Mm. Let's have another look at the filter. 
now we've done that again see what this is looking like there you can see look at that already look look how dirty it is in there look it's full of so look how much dust gets into this there's absolutely loads in there look at it it's full <laughs> We've got some rice, we've got some sugar. There we go, rice, sugar and paper. So let's see how we get on with that. How is the shark gonna cope with this? It's worked well on that. So it's put the rice up, no problem at all. Right? Quite nice and easy. Sugar. So it's took that sugar straight up, no problem at all. So it's, it's like in the bigger stuff, isn't it? Put that, no problem. And then paper. And you can hear the drop on it, look, and you see everything is just sticking to the filter. Everything is all going to the filter, look. So is that the idea? You've got to give it a tap before you empty it, maybe. I don't know, I've still got bits of rice coming out of, out of the bottom. Oh, do you see now? That's, that's it, look. That's the moment there. It stopped sucking. It seems struggling to pick their rice up now, look. You've got, you've got almost no suction there at all. The receptacle isn't full of dirt. It's all stuck to the base here. It's all stuck to the base where the, the filter is. And once you get to that point there, it's just completely losing its suction. So, oh God, it's cold fell out, it's look. Look at it all coming out. What a flipping load of rubbish that is. We've got crap, oh my God. Oh no, look at that. <laughs> what is going on? Look at it, look. So, we found a major floor here this is just absolute nonsense look it's emptied the whole receptacle out through the nozzle and inside inside here yeah it's got the one-way valve look and the one-way valve had stuck because it's got sugar stuck in it so that's a real bad design floor inside there the little flap that's just here if that gets any kind of residue stuck down inside it, you get this problem where everything just comes straight back out all over, your, all over the area you've just hoovered. So we'll have to go and empty this out. So let's just uh, switch it off again and see if we, if we are jammed again. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh my word. Oh god, it's rubbish, isn't it? Oh, I'm so disappointed with that. It's unbelievable. Well, I'm, I was expecting it to be like that. You see there, look, that flap again has once again stuck open, and yeah, it's got bits of rice and sugar in there. That is such a bad design. So we've got the old coffee puck, which is often get not break coffee and get bits of coffee debris about so let's just give that a bit of a messing about how's it going to deal with that <laughs> so 
Oh. Oh dear. I think we've either run out of battery again or we've blocked it up. Oh dear. It looks a bit black in there. Let's go and empty it out and see what we've done to it. Oh, we've got all coffee jammed up in here, look. Coffee jam. It's pretty stuck to that. we we'll have a quick walking around there. Let's pop this filter up. What's this going to look like? Oh my word. Look at the coffee inside there. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's a nightmare. It's absolutely filled this. Look, it's got straight through and completely filled the filter up. Look, it's absolutely solid. But it's uh, it definitely blocks up. That completely goes through the mesh and uh, causes havoc, doesn't it? <laughs> so I've just checked the instructions and it says on here that the, uh, the little filter in the back there, we can hand wash that, so we can rinse it out leave it to dry for 24 hours, um, but it is washable. So we can rinse it out with uh, lukewarm water and then re reinsert it. So I've had this shark lightweight hoover for a day and guess where it's going? Straight back at the box and sending it back. Not happy with it, to be fair. It's rubbish. It is, it is really poor, really poor. Tried hoovering up many different things with it. I thought it would have a use, but it really hasn't. Whatever I suck up with it, it just blocks up the filter and it stops. You, I can't get nowhere near filling this little receptacle up. It just hasn't got it. It just blocks up the little filter at the bottom and that's that. It's, it's very, very poor. I'm surprised at Shark for putting their name on this. They've built quite a good reputation with their larger hoovers over the recent years, competing with Dyson. This one, though, as good as it feels in the hand, all it's good for is probably batting a few balls. You know, it's, it's it ain't no good as a hoover. So it's going straight back in the box. Like I say, that can go back. Um, we'll just call it a bad job. Bit disappointed. But there you go. We'll have a look for another one. We'll find something that's going to be suitable for what we're looking for. And uh, I know one thing, it ain't this. If you've enjoyed the video, just drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.